This video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on single entry conversion method, hence useful to the students who are reading for CA Intermediate, ICWI Executive, CS Executive, BCom, CA IPCC. I want to solve one sum on single entry conversion method. Just observe the sum on the screen. This is the sum that I intend to solve. Following is the balance sheet of a retail business of Srinivas as on 31st of December 2015. This is the balance sheet given to liability side three items. Capital, liability for goods means creditors, rent outstanding, asset side furniture, stock, debtors, cash at bank, cash in hand, total 1,21,500. You are furnished with the following information. 1. Srinivas sells goods at a profit of 20% on sales. So whenever the percentage of profit is given to you, anything relevant to trading account may be missing. Either it may be closing stock or opening stock or say purchase or sales. Out of all these goods details, anything should be missing if you are given the rate of gross profit. Goods are sold for cash and credit. Credit customers pay by check only. So credit sales are recovered only by check. And cash sales is also there. Payment for purchases are always made by check. So there are no cash purchases. All the purchases are on credit and the payment is made by check. Or payment for purchases may be cash or credit, but the payment is always by check. It is the practice of Srinivas to send to bank every weekend the collections of the week. After paying every week, salary 300 to a clerk, so per week 300 salaries to be paid, Sunday expenses per week to be paid 50, personal drawings, personal expenses 100, they are to be paid first of all. So out of cash sales proceeds, these payments are made first every week and the remaining cash is deposited with the bank. Analysis of the bank passbook for 13 weeks, a period. Ending on 31st of 2016, disclose the following. So accounting period is from 1st of January to 31st of March. So three months is the accounting period for which we are required to apply the conversion method for accounting made under single entry. Payment to creditors, payment of rent up to 31st of 2016. So this payment of rent up to 31st of 2016, 4,000. This includes the payment of outstanding rent at the beginning of the period. The rent outstanding at the beginning of the accounting period was 1,000. And payment made including this 1,000 is 4,000. So expense of rent for the current period, current accounting period is 3,000. Amount deposited in the bank, 1,25,000 including 30,000 received from debtors by check. So, 1,25,000 minus 30,000, that is the cash deposit in the bank. Following are the balances as on 31st of 2016, stock, debtors, creditors for goods. On the evening of 31st of 2016, cashier absconded with the available cash in hand in the cash box. There was no cash deposit in the week end of that day. So, in this 31st of March ending week, whatever the cash balance was there in the cash box, the cashier misappropriated and absconded. That's a loss of cash. So we are required to find out the cash balance as on 31st of March 2016. You are required to prepare a statement showing the amount of cash defaulted by the cashier and also a profit and loss account for a period ended on 31st of March 2016 and the balance sheet as on that day. So this is what we are supposed to prepare. Now for the purpose of finding out the cash defaulted, I am required to prepare cash account and bank account separate, one thing. Over and above, I am going to prepare all these accounts which are found in the opening balance sheet and those balances will be carried forward in the respective accounts. Let me start preparing all necessary accounts, observing. This is my trading profit and loss account that is being questioned. This is my bank account. Cash account, I prepare to find out the cash defaulted. This is rent. Then balance sheet, debtors account, creditors account. These are the various accounts that I am going to prepare. 
Now, first of all, I will write the opening balances in the respective account for each of 10,000 opening balance that I write in the balance sheet, asset side, furniture 10,000. Stock 70,000, that's an opening stock, opening step gets recorded on the debit side of trading account. So stock, I write to the debit side of trading account, opening stock 70,000. Debtors opening balance, the, here is the debtors account. Here I will write down the opening balance. Opening balance brought down, 25,000. Cash at hand, cash account, cash at hand opening balance. Bank balance will be recorded as the opening balance in bank account. Just observe. Cash at bank, 14,500. Cash account opening balance, 2,000. This is how assets are recorded. Capital balance, I will write in the balance sheet in the inner column because I am required to add the profit for the accounting period. I am also required to deduct drawings from this capital. So I write capital in the inner column. Liability for goods, that's a creditor's balance that I write on the credit side. Opening balance brought down. Rent outstanding will be paid when the total payment for rent will be made. So outstanding rent of 1000 will be transferred to rent account. The normal adjustment entry for that I write is outstanding rent account debit to rent account credit. This is how outstanding rent is transferred to rent account. And as I told to you, when 4000 will be paid, this 1000 will be automatically paid. That's why I have transferred outstanding rent account to rent account. Sales goods at a profit of 20% on sales. Goods are sold for cash and rent credit. Customers pay by check only. Payment for purchases are always made by check. So these three are the information for the accounting purpose. These are the policy matters. It is the practice of Sri Nivas to send to bank. Now this is what I want to consider. Now the total period I am given 13 weeks. But I will calculate 13 weeks here before you. Because period starts from 1st of January to 31st of March. So January has got 31 days, February 29 because 2016. So total number of days after 91. 91 divided by 7, so 13 weeks. So every week payment made to a clerk by way of salary at the rate of 300 per week. So 300 into 30, that's a payment made to a clerk. Sundry expenses at the rate of rupees 50 for 13 weeks. So 15 to 13. So these are the Sunday expenses paid. Now personal drawings at the rate of 100 per week for 13 weeks. So these are the drawings. So this is what the payment has been made. Salaries are paid debited to profit and loss account and cash account will be credited because the payment is made by cash. So observe profit and loss account debit to cash account credit. Sunday expenses 650 same way profit and loss account debit to cash account credit. So cash account is credited and profit and loss account is debited. Drawings are deducted from capital and the payment is made for payment is made to the owner. So cash account is to be credited. So drawings are deducted from capital and cash account is credited. This is how the expenses paid are recorded. So this fourth point is taken into consideration. Now after that, payment to creditors. Payment for purchases are always by check. So payment to creditors 75,000. So creditors account debit. Two, bank account credit. Because the payment is made by check. Payment of rent. Up to 31st of part 2016, 4000. Analysis of bank passbook. So, this is also a check payment. So, rent expense account debit to bank account credit. Amount deposited in the bank 1 lakh 25,000 minus 30,000. Including 30,000 received from debtors by check. So, 30,000 is received from debtors by check. So, credit customers pay by check only. So, this 30,000 bank account debit to debtor's account credit. 
and 125,000 minus 30,000. So this is the amount received against sales. So cash account debit 2. This is the amount deposited in the bank. So amount deposited in the bank. So 125,000 minus 30,000, 95,000 is deposited in the bank. Bank account debit to cash account credit. This is how the entry gets recorded. After that, see these three points are over. These are the balances given to as on 31st October 2016. Closing stock, 40,000. Trading account credit balance sheet asset side. Debtors closing balance. Closing balance sheet asset side and debtors account. Credit side. This is the balance carried down 30,000 and 30,000 balance sheet asset side. Closing balance of creditors, closing balance sheet liability side and creditors account debit side balance carried forward. This is how the closing balances are recorded. Now Sri Diva sales goods at a profit of 20% on sales. Now I am required to find out the by applying percentage of profit on sales, the missing details from trading account. Opening stock and closing stock are given to me. I am told that all, see, if you look at debtors account, opening balance, closing balance, bank account. Missing item is credit sales. In creditors account, bank account, means payment to creditors, opening and closing balance, missing item is purchases. But here I will get credit sales. But I don't have the details of cash sales. So as the cash sales details are not available, I cannot apply this percentage of profit to the sales. I can find out the credit sale at the most. But I don't know cash sales. And I can find out cash sales by closing these accounts. So first of all, let me close this creditors account. Find the purchases. And these purchases will be debited to the trading and profit and loss account. This is the total purchases. So opening stock plus purchase minus closing stock. I, will, I can have the details of cost of goods sold. And the percentage of profit is given to you on the sales. So this percentage of profit on sales will be converted into a percentage of profit on cost of goods sold. And that percentage of profit on cost of goods sold that has been worked out will be applied to the cost of goods sold that I find out. Just observe. So here, opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock, I will get the cost of goods sold. So 70,000 plus 91,000 minus closing stock 40,000. This is the cost of goods sold. Now percentage of profit is 20% on sales. So if sales is 100, 20 is the profit, cost of sales is 80. On cost of sales 80, 20 is the profit, how much for 100? So 25% on 25% is the profit on cost of goods sold. So 100 is the sales, 20 is the profit, cost of sales is 80. 80 is to 20, how much for 100? This is a 25% is the percentage of profit on cost of goods sold. And this 25% I apply here to 121,000. So 121,000 into 25% on cost. So this is the profit. So I get the sales value, total sales value thereby. This sales is credited to trading account. And it will be bifurcated into cash sales and credit sales. So this is how the sales is worked out on the basis of this percentage of profit. This is to be bifurcated in what? Cash sales and credit sales. The gross profit that I have found out, I will write to the debit side of trading account. And I will credit profit and loss account. That is the second part of this trading profit and loss account. So gross profit is credited to my profit and loss account. After this, I would like to close this debtors account. As I told you, I can find out the credit sales by closing debtors account. So total of credit minus total of debit, I will get the credit sales. So this credit sales I record here. So 151,250 minus 35,000 credit sales, I will get the details of cash sales. If I did get the details of cash sales, I can find out the cash misappropriated by a cashier. So here by difference, I will get what? Cash sales. 150, 1,250 minus 35,000. So this is my cash sales. The cash sales will be debited to cash account. 
see this trading account will get, will be closed now and this cash sales is debited to cash account cash account debit to trading account credit this is debtors account debit to trading account credit credit sales so this is how this is how i have found out the cash sales now by closing this cash account i can find out the closing balance at the end which is being misappropriated by the club on the evening of 31st of our 2016 cash cashier absconded with the available cash in the cash box there was no cash deposited in the week at the end of that day so whatever the cash balance is found out that is misappropriated and that will be identified as a loss and that will be debited to profit and loss account if the amount of cash is recoverable from the cashier then you can show that cash recoverable from the cashier on the asset side of the balance sheet but here i am going to debit this cash misappropriated because clark has absconded so it will be identified as a loss and it will be debited to profit and loss account so this is the loss of cash by theft 71400 and that is debited to profit and loss account this is how cash misappropriated is found out notice first of first i found out the purchases on the basis of purchases i found out cost of goods sold the percentage of profit on sales is converted to a percentage of profit on cost of goods sold and that percentage is applied to the cost of goods sold that i have found out so i got the sales details from the total sales details i deducted the credit sales i got the cash sales cash sales is debited to cash account and by after debiting cash sales to the cash account i could find out the missing cash this is the sequence in which the missing information is being found out and recorded here before you that's an important point to be observed by you now i want to close this rent account 3000 is the expense for rent for three months debited to provident loss account so 4000 is the total rent paid which includes payment for outstanding rent 1000 so remaining 3000 is a rent for the current period that is debited to profit and loss account now bank account cash account rent account all these accounts are closed now i want to find out the net profit and bank balance so total of debit side minus total of credit side this is a closing bank balance that will appear on the balance sheet asset side by closing this profit and loss account i will get the net profit this net profit of 5300 is added to the capital so 105300 minus 1300 104000 is the closing capital balance now i can tally the balance sheet liability side and asset side total should agree that is 140500 this is how this sum gets solved this is an important sum for understanding the sequence in which the accounts the accounts gets closed and the cash misappropriated is being found out i have tried to explain you this sum i feel that you have followed all these things thanks to all of you